Lord Raptors, I need to try it. In the middle of the night, just call him out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's like in prison for like, trespassing. It's like evening or whatever. Like Lord Taraptus is like burning the midnight oil. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna make this good too. I know I just turned on my air conditioner. I'm gonna turn that back off. I know it. I know it's gonna be hot because this has got to happen. Oh God, camera! <laughs> well, I, think I need I need to maximize my monitor for doing this. So. You open the heavy office door and uh, step into the smoke haze room. Lord Taraptus is uh, currently looking outside the window at the evening sky with bleary eyes, though he turns his head. No, oh, Leon. Alone? Yes, I have not brought the dragonkin. The dragon, whatever. All right, all right. Come sit. What is it? Well, we have been doing some, um, investigations around town. Right. I uh, yes, uh, that's good. That's good. That's what I made introductions for. Go on. And we, were um, for old Roll, we were investigating him slightly. That dwarf merchant guy, yes, I remember him. Unfortunately, we ran across a minor, a minor, minor problem. All right, I... I do think I mentioned at some point that he might have some connections, courtesy of his affluence. Continue. Well, the dwarf you introduced us to who in here. Gurak, Garak, Zolda. Yeah, him. Go on. He he wished to go deliver a message to um, where he believed he was st believed he currently was located and. He got arrested for trespassing. And association with Malleus Tempest Maliator. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I'm getting old. <laughs> that the last 40 seconds of this conversation were just a figment of my imagination. <laughs> And I'm going to politely request that you repeat every single thing that you just said after that last qualification that you had me say. So go from there. So, the dwarf, the, our, the dwarf you sent to us went ahead and, with with a just a letter, went to go ahead and head and ask the guards to deliver it to him. And for whatever transpired with, with them, the gu the guards. At his, his property, went ahead and called for the town guards to arrest him on the process of trespassing and knowing Malleus Temp uh, Tempest Maliator. So now he's inside the jail cell and awaiting processing, which is time consuming and. Yes. Put his hands together. <laughs> So, where's this Thomas fellow in all of this? He's been traveling with you a lot. He knows a lot about, like, guardsman stuff. He's very honest and dependable, even though he doesn't, like, he's not really tied to the Archmage. It's, where's he gone? Like, couldn't he, like, talk with the... If only, I'm, af I'm afraid, however, after the re recent loss of, um, one of our companions, Fargus, he decided to, um... Take, take a leave on a boat. I believe he was going to um, independently investigate the Sahagwin situation. Independently invest what? That waves of them or what is there to? It was it was his decision. I mean, I at least thought that introducing one servant of the Great Gold Worm to another would have been. How does? How is it that in your entire group? The one paladin, the paladin's the one who gets arrested. Not Tempest, not... I had thought that whenever I introduced you all together that you would somehow... This is worse. This is literally worse. I have made a mistake. I am getting too old for this. Right. Do you know which guardhouse he's in by chance? 
Uh, I believe I believe the southern one of the heights. I. Right. Hold on. Lord Tempest like closes his eyes and furrows his brows. Right, I better follow up on that. Come along with me. Are the are the others here by chance? Uh, I believe they are down in um, the rooms we've been staying. Good, you can stay there with them. I'll return with Ger... Ger uh, the dragon whatever lover. They're together, you know. I'll return with him. <laughs> I, 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 I saw your uh, very subtle symbols before. Good, good. They were meant... Subtlety. They won't give a bigger snot. Oh. I can't believe I have to deal with this. How the Archmage has fallen. Get out of my office! We'll give a nod, we'll not say a word, and we'll leave. I can't. These fucking. I, I should kill every single one of them. No, no, not, not him. But we start with the dragon whatevers. These are desperate times. I am too old for this. I think you're looking great for your age. Close the door. I did. I know your masters and the forderer. I, I will send them missives. <laughs> Oh my god, that was amazing, because it actually felt as if I was in a role-playing game, and you were just selecting the options for your character to say, <laughs> and you were just watching, and I was just like, oh my god, it's like a placing one, two, three in Planescape Torment, oh my god! Hold on, I, hold I, on. I, I, was, I was disappointed I didn't have a camera for myself, actually, because I was actually doing interactions, I was doing, like, gestures back and If I did this, would it mean anything? <laughs> What? Uh, Have you ever thought about this? Yeah, yeah. So, 45 minutes later, as, uh, as, I suppose I should leave the camera, as, uh, our good friend Dwarf Paladin, you know, the servant of the Great Gold Worm, languishes in jail, you hear, like, this, like, this row of, like, old man speech, like, being spat out outside the guardhouse. But but, uh, but 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 sir, you can. You will let me in there right now. I, 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 and like the door like creaks open to like where the jail is, and then stalking through the hallway is uh, as a heavy tapping of a three-legged man, two plus a staff, and then the uh, heavy <laughs> brows and the cold stare of Lord Taraptus. I yeah. knew, knew you were trouble. I knew it, and I let myself be seduced anyway. He's a paladin of the Great Gold Worm, the Blessed Halls. Surely he'll be able to keep everything together. And I was wrong. Lord Taraptus was wrong! Yeah, Garrick just sits down, has his head in his hands, and just... Shakes it. Uh, I. Uh, I'm so so sorry, Walter. I. It, you know, I'm I'm sure you, out of anyone, had the best intentions. So, just gonna let this go, and I'm gonna forget about the fact that I had to step away from my work. You are going to get this dwarf's equipment. No, don't you jingle for your keys. Do you not think I can open a door? Watch! He, like, tips the staff. The jail door opens. <laughs> <laughs> now insult me again. Go. Good. We're going to get your equipment. And we're going to walk you back to the Arcane College. And hopefully, no one will try to arrest me for trespassing. 
Garrick just stands up, head solemnly bowed, and just walks out. <laughs> really, I expected more for someone of noble birth, right? I expected more for myself as well. I didn't know simply knowing Tempest would get me arrested. <laughs> or s simply mentioning him, rather. I... that's on me, then. I should have mentioned that to you whenever Aurelia really wanted to meet them. <sighs> I... no, it's not your fault. Dwohirum and Leon, they... they try their best. Tempest, he... Well, let's just keep going. Uh, you are right. delivered your equipment, the heavy plate <laughs> and the weaponry. Takes multiple guards to, like, haul it out to you. All the while, Lord yeah. Taraptus is, like... He's, like, starts ranting at the guards, who are all cowing in fear and terror over Lord Taraptus, the head of the Archmage's, like, association, is here in the gatehouse. And, like, the constable tries to argue with Lord Taraptus, and that's the biggest fucking mistake he's ever <laughs> made in his entire life. <laughs> Because Lord Taraptus pulls rank on him, mentions that he personally knows the Imperial Governor, and the Constable does not, and if he would like to keep his job to get the fuck out of Lord Taraptus' face, the Constable does. And Lord Taraptus walks you away from the gatehouse, back to the Arcane College, where you are delivered, and so there everyone is, just sitting and talking and whatever. There's the thump of the staff. And Lord Taraptus walks to the door where everyone is staying, like, Here, I've brought him back. Now, only I, I can only do that so many times, too. So if you could avoid getting imprisoned in the Noble District anymore, in the pursuit of your goals, as helpful as they are, I would appreciate it. My influence has dwindled a bit, what with all the deaths. And the catastrophe. So, you'd really be helping me out. And, you know, that'll go far for you. Someday, I'll die. And that'll be a great day for me. <laughs> but one of you will need to take my position. No, 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 we'll train some other apprentices. <laughs> but someday, I'll be gone. And then... I, I just drink. imagine, like, very slowly, the thought of, like, Tempest suddenly taking the role of Lord Taraptus is what crept into his head, and he was like, Nope! An apprentice! <laughs> right, well, we got a lot of work to do. Training people to replace those who have been lost. The Dragon Empire must never falter, even though I doubt its integrity. Sometimes I'll be taking my leave. Have a nice night. And Lord Taraptus with a final glare towards the dragon whatever, walks away. As he leaves, Leon just, once he, knows, once he thinks that, like, just like, a long breath of just like, holding back, not even wanting to breathe too heavily when he's what wraps his around. Tempest wasn't in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Tempest wasn't in the room. Chances are, he wasn't in the building. <laughs> he probably got told, oh, Taraptus is out to go and get the dwarf. Tempest is like, I'm out. <laughs> oh, well, good news for you. Tempest will probably be here in about 15 minutes. Look, look, so, looks over towards uh, Garrick. Uh, You're welcome for that. Uh, well, thank you. Mm. Though, I think... I, I didn't know simply mentioning Tempest's name would get me arrested. I did not know it was uh, that wanted. Mm, depends on the I circle. I've done that before. Ah, speak of the devil. Might be uh, that nothing. whoever through all has paid to look after his place, he's also paid to be extra severe. Hmm. Hey, great news, Tempest. Mm hmm? It looks like all of Lord Traps says, I, I won't be going to you anymore. Oh. It looks like, it looks like, he's, ha looks like he's now got a new pair. Of Actually, possibly three. He, might, he may dislike me for a short time for disturbing him so late about 
a companion getting jailed. I, I get this feeling that it, I still kind of have a sort of distinct level, you know. I kind of supported someone that he wanted assassinated. You know, I, I think it's a different caliber. The, po- the, point, the point stands is, at least you're not going to be getting all of it. It'll be split now. Share the load. You might have incurred his ire, but he still wouldn't mind seeing me dead. I think I win in this comparison. She has a point. She, she does. She does. It's a point indeed. Now I've, now I've been with Lord Raptors this many times, but tonight I'm going to go to sleep. You shake my hands I need a drink. You say that, Leo reaches into the bag, throws a wine bottle over. A stronger drink. Well, <laughs> well, if you, if you don't want it, I'm sure Tempest will. It's, it's I, almost 11 for me. I am, like, collapsing at the desk. And more for, like, what your characters were experiencing right now, but for you too, yes. Sure, Griff. <laughs> it's, t- it's also 10 o'clock in the UK. We're almost approaching the four-hour mark for the session. <laughs> Well, if there's nothing anyone else wants to do for this night, we can pass up to the next day, which will be the 25th of Fireseek, uh, with whatever ideas or pursuits you might want to choose, minus Griff. And uh, Manakai did mention that he was fatigued as well, but, you know, uh, maybe you want to pursue another angle, or try a different approach, whatever. Be creative, people! I, uh, I've, I've just given you feedback based on what you've given me <laughs> and the I skill mean, checks no, you've made none of the suggestions I have let me rephrase that most of the suggestions I have involve setting things on fire Yes. we could go talk to uh, Everett Lavelle we could oh that's another angle yeah that's, that's something Cause this went horribly so. well the dwarf's going to come home at some point Yeah, I do but not. He never ever wants to. Yeah, you were get you were shop again. you were told that his vacation is supposed to end on the first of the new month. We have four days. There's probably Wait. something he wants to do there that he's doing that we don't want him to do. Like okay. he's currently spending his time like carefully making sure to burn every single document for the last ten years. But there still might be something in a shop. There might be. And, and at least there's no angry angry dwarf standing in front of it. <laughs> there are two e- guards. There are two exposed roads where we get arrested, but you know, we we just have half tempers work his magic on the locks, and then we have half Tim with us, who yeah, makes it look like he's leading us inside. Got uh, got taken trying to break into <laughs> the old rural shop at high daylight. If uh, I can't get, get her I can't... out of jail, <laughs> like, just <laughs> Like, at that point, we need to rely on one of the fives to get us out of that <laughs> See, see uh, I'm actually... I have a creative idea. See if I turn into a box, why don't you just post me through, like, the post box? <laughs> yes, the wait. post box, because those exist. <laughs> the, pro- the problem is, Griff, what happens if we are... Uh, what happens if we roll do more than four days, because then he could return home and find the tempers on his doorstep? Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Griff... Is there something you have in mind for how you want to use your five before you go to sleep? Because you have an Archmage five. I haven't. <laughs> you just out a jail card. It's well. just one of those things Like I look at and I go, I have so many fives I've messed up. <laughs> you, you haven't messed up you a single want the five. complication? <laughs> Would the Archmage perhaps have enough pull to make sure that the guards in the guild district at a particular time are in our favor? I think uh, that's more a Prince of Shadows thing. The Archmage? No, especially not with uh, what's happened with the catastrophe. The uh, city actually uh, has lessened its friendly attitude towards the Archmage because of the explosion of the Arcane College, which did damage other buildings in the center district. Or, or maybe we, we could somehow use it to, to disable the lighting in the district to make it easier to sneak in there. That, Something like that. That could be done. Great, we're going to sabotage. Yeah, if, if you wish to do that, that would certainly be with the Archmage 5. 
which in this case could perhaps bring lots of attention. Like, hey, why have the lights gone down in this district? <laughs> it was Thurl Durall. Damn that guy. Yeah. Oh. Why would he take down the light? Must be him. Yeah. It's so obvious. It never backfired. Well, it was certainly a good start in your character. Guess <laughs> Halazin gets arrested. Session one: the assassin walks away with Scott Free. The session session is not over yet. We got some more time. But yeah. uh, well, I am going to go collapse. Bye, Griff. Yep. It, it would uh, be at least useful to end the session knowing more than we did before. That'd be great. Well, we know that this guy is in the heights and where he lives, but we know he's sure. hiding something. We, we know, know he's how to, a bad guy. We know how to get arrested now. Go to the heights and save Matemba's money at door. No, well, it's more of a trespassing thing. Like, you fucking were on noble private property and you refused to leave, so the guards made you leave. <laughs> like, don't keep trying to bundle us up in Tempest shit. You broke the law. <laughs> yep, yep. We'll make them leave. We can figure out who's employed here and where their families live. You're taking that backhanded uh, dragon hall approach again. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> We're supposed to be good guys. I miss Blue City. <laughs> <laughs> Damn Black Fang banished us from there. City where you don't have to feel bad about killing anyone because they're all bad people. And now you're you the aggressor. We're just, we're just doing their job. We can't even be reactionary, just wait until the bad guys do something and then stop it. <sighs> like you'd be murdering a bunch of Thomases. Yeah. Hopefully weaker Thomases, but Thomases nonetheless. Yes. And freed slaves for starting a new life and whatnot. We don't want to do that. No, all things sure considered, Fuck Haven really wasn't that bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is, you, you just don't remember it. <laughs> mm. That's nostalgia giving you a better view of it. That's, <laughs> it's like, you know, blowing into a Nintendo cartridge for three hours trying to get it to work, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> That was part of his shock. If it, if it ends up working in the end, that's it like that's that like bad. my crippled attitude towards Daggerfall. You know, Daggerfall's not that bad of a game. <laughs> no, no, we just. Regardless, here you are in this moment of the session. Like, if you want to take another week to think about it, you can. But I don't think much has changed for you folks regarding what you know. Yeah, that's that's the problem, isn't it? I mean, we have. Well, we have exhausted one lead, so we'll have to go for the other one. I mean, is it really exhausted, though? Just because we are... Well, well it kind of option, is. But it's not always that good. <laughs> what else would you suggest we do that does not escalate into, like, murder murder spree? I mean, we can at least break into a shop with relative safety, maybe? Uh, I would not call it... Too, they are two exposed streets. I don't think it's going to be relative safety. people watching over it. We know that much. Yeah, there's probably going to be more people now that we sort of roused a bit of suspicion. Like, you, you guys pretty much showed up at his secret place where no one's supposed to know about it and said, we know you're there, motherfucker. Yeah. Now see how you react. What you gonna do now? Is it illegal to to, to, um, to yell at people's houses from outside their property? Disturbing the peace. <laughs> That would be certainly be disturbing the peace. <laughs> well, ah, damn stupid guys. laws. They got law for everything. <laughs> <laughs> As it turns out, the nobles got this shit covered. I mean, uh, I mean to be honest, everything. if I was playing a noble, I would totally understand the fact that I don't want to be shouted at for, by ventures across the and, street. And you, and you staying on the street all night with your passive-aggressive attitude? That's vagrancy. Yeah. Well, what if we don't sleep there? <laughs> Just like... <laughs> Loitering? Yeah, we are standing. You, you guys are soliciting, clearly. <laughs> we will take a broom and we will sort of stand there with dead eyes staring directly at his window while we sweep. 
<laughs> that is disguised loitering. Disguised loitering. Sweeping the streets, sir. Remember, the nobles can trump up whatever they want. In just a little while, we won't care what you say, Mr. Guard. You'll die. You'll need a lot of us. That's good murder. A lot of you to stop us. I can tell your. I can tell. How many of you are you willing to throw at us? I can tell the group is seriously, you know, pursuing, you know, thoughts here, judging by this line of conversation. I don't. I don't. I don't like these lines. Tired. I mean, very tired. I mean, you did suggest talking to to Lavelle, and I think that might be a reasonable thing to try. It's a different approach. It's more that room finds it an interesting approach because he's connected to the second to second circle of shapers in his lineage and there might be something there he didn't seem like a very nice guy from what people said about him but maybe i mean the veringer didn't have a very good reputation and he's turned out to be nicer than most people we've met just from being genuine in his asshole ways assholery like i'm gonna betray you at first what would i get like Thank you, that's so nice of you to say, because I don't have to wonder if you will or not. Mm. All right. So the uh, the morning of, or I guess you can pick whatever you want to head back to the Heights. Because it'll be the next day, the 25th. You wanted to try to break into that shop? I'd rather, I'd rather talk to the guy when I when I actually yeah. have brain with me. Oh, mm. so I mean it's risky and yeah, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> it so would I'm be not gonna be brought into jail again. Because <laughs> imagine she's the one who's super good at stealth. Uh, reasonable, reasonably at least. So, I mean, if it's just visible from all sides in, in like super illumination with guards everywhere, then that's a bit impossible. Can you do an no, but they're going to be watching it now. If I was him, I would put like a dude to watch it. Just so he has like a guy with like a, a trumpet and a bell who can make a ton of noise whenever someone tries yeah. to Yeah, I mean, we, we kind of gave away our moment of surprise by showing up at a secret hideout. You, yeah. so. you, 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 yeah. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, first uh, Tempest Maliator walked up to the door. <laughs> yeah. We we need to think things through a lot more. I, I, I would say as a GM, like, you guys certainly could have gotten your way in there. Tempest Maliator being the one to try to talk his way in there was the worst possible idea. Excuse me, no. Trying to kill everyone and set the building on fire would have been worse than that. I should rephrase. Painting their blood on the walls to make it look like a demon attack. Yes. Caught, caught literally red-handed. But, so I, I, but I see but, for that you'd be using your devo using the voted of the dark gods. Yeah, but, but Tempest of all people who it's been known that people have been coming after him. You know, like says, "Hey, there's a meeting in there. Can I come in?" Like that's it. He's the guy who's got talking to people. Damn it! <laughs> <sighs> he's also the guy with the fucking negative dwarf king relationship, and he's been pursued by this guy who sent bounty hunters at him when you were in Vaughaven. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that, but yeah. Those guys that you took out in session three. You never killed. We didn't kill them. No, you didn't kill them. But you took them out. You knocked them unconscious. They were sent by this man, this merchant. That's legal. Can we send bounty hunters after this guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, bounty well, hunting in in Dragon Empire, as it is in uh, <laughs> as it is in the United States of America, is a very quasi legal status type of thing. Yeah. If we have a Dragon Hall warrant for him, <laughs> and we're here to, to bounty hunt him... Oh, maybe you should try. Yeah. Anakai, clearly, because we know... Because adventurers can always manage to get their get gold in there. We hire adventurers. <laughs> uh, yeah, we outsource the adventuring. <laughs> we make a shop. We earn money, and other people do the work. Uh. 
And then like we skipped ten years ahead, we made a decent profit. And then Saha can kill everyone. And you know how we? You know how we? So did you actually want to go do or visit anything while there was still a group session taking place, or have we just really slipped into let's joke? I Aha mode? I would rather just decide what we're gonna do next session. Like I mean, the thing is, all we can decide. Make a plan. All we can decide for next session is like the first ten minutes, and then everything relies on what we find out. But does it always? Yeah. But, <sighs> I don't think it does always, no. Okay. We can come up with a few things we can try, and then... <laughs> you guys could have done that for this fucking, like, the two weeks that you had. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes! <laughs> like, like, Manakai figured out his information about Nivrat Lavelle. And so that was on the table, and all the information you knew about Thurl Dural, you already had that at the start of the session. Well, you obviously got more over the course of this session, but, I mean, like, you had more to think of, like, plans and stuff, and you executed them, and you discovered stuff, and then you worked from there. Uh -huh. Ugh. I'm sure I could find a good plan to deal with that dwarf, given time and thought processing the uh, the the idea with El, uh, Lavelle I can't even speak now would be what what exactly do we want to get from him the dwarf very much seems to be the face of these black fang people like he's almost making himself look super mega guilty 